Okay, two students are performing a lab using lengths of wire as resistors. Okay, the two students have wires made of the exact same material. Okay, but student B has a wire that has twice the radius of student A wire. If student B wants his wire to have the same resistance as student A uh, wire, how should student B's length compare to student A's wire? Okay, good. So here we see there are two cases, student A and student B. We should put two columns, okay, to gather our information. Okay, we put uh, student A wire and student B wire, okay. Uh, then we compare. Yeah? So uh, he first he says the wires are made of same material. Ah, it made of exact same material. What does it mean for this one? Uh, this means the roll. Okay, the roll, the uh, resistivity are the same. Yeah, for both wire. Uh, because I did say before, uh, the material. Yeah, uh, material, uh, the resistivity, resistivity, roll, depends on material, different material, uh, different resistivity, yeah, like this one, uh, resistivity of copper and resistivity, resistivity of steel, they are different because different material, okay, uh, if you have two copper wire, means they have the same resistivity, yeah, different resistance, different resistance, but same resistivity, yeah, if, uh same material copper they have the same resistivity so we can say same material means same resistivity okay you write over here resistivity of a will be equal to resistivity of b that's the first thing we can represent this as rho only yeah as well and then he say the b has twice the radius of uh students a wire so okay i can say that uh the radius Radius relate to area, isn't it? Uh, okay, I have radius A and radius B. Where uh, so he said the radius B, radius B is twice. Okay, he said twice the radius A, right? Uh, so radius B is twice the radius A. Uh, like that, yeah. Radius B is twice the radius A, and then B wants his wire to have the same resistance as uh, students A wire. So you want to have a same resistance so i can say resistance a equal to resistance b uh, they just want to have same resistance um okay uh all right how should the length the b's length compare to a's uh length so okay the length is unknown okay so i have length a and length b okay the length is unknown. Uh, okay, so how is the length B compared to length A? So, so I don't know. Uh, length B is how many times length A? Lah. Okay. Alright, so now we have uh, the information here. Uh, okay, this one. Okay, this radius can help us to determine the area. The yeah, cross-sectional area. First of all, uh, I can say that uh, these these questions uh, will need us to use the formula r equal to rho l over a. Uh, this one, yeah. So we will use the formula uh, r equal to rho l over a. Uh, yeah, we're going to use this formula. Right. So uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, uh, okay, so okay, we can start with this. Yeah, he want to have the same, same resistance, right? They want to have same resistance. Maybe we can start. Oops. Okay, I can start with this. This statement. Yeah, they want to have same resistance. Okay, so now. Resistance A equal to resistance B. Okay. Uh, so the formula is rho L over A, uh, rho L over A, uh, but uh, over here is for all for A, uh, over here is all for B. 
okay uh a a a and and this one this one is wire a this one is wire b yeah okay so uh first of all they have the same resistivity right uh they have the same resistivity so this row a and row b are equal so i can cut them off first yeah i can cut them off length a and length b are unknown so i just write as uh length a over here and then length b over here okay how about area area okay uh okay now how to look at area so this is a wire isn't it wire that means the area actually is uh okay he say got radius that means this wire the cross-sectional area is a circle okay it's a circle uh, the wire right so the wire is uh, cross-sectional area is uh, this is the radius right this is the radius so the cross-sectional area is pi r square okay the cross-sectional area is pi r square uh, so okay i can represent this uh, area of a as i can represent this area of a as uh, pi r uh, pi r a square and area of b is pi r b square uh, okay uh, area a is pi r yeah pi r square right pi r a square and area b is pi r b square uh, then we know that r b is 2 r a uh, so we can substitute r b with 2 r a yeah Okay, continue. Okay, and then pi can be cut off, right? Can be cancelled the pi. Yeah, they are the common. And then uh, here is R A square, and then length B. Okay, R B R B is two R A. Uh, two R A square. Okay. Uh, then we uh, we continue. So we this one we can expand. It becomes length b uh, over four r a square. Ah, uh, length b, and then this one uh four uh four r a square. Good. Now I can cut off the common this one r a square and r a square. Ah, uh, so lastly, length b is uh this one. Uh, 4 multiplied to the top, so length B is 4LA. Oh, where is it? 4LA. Ah, length B is 4LA. Ah, so that means uh, I got the answer. The length B is 4 times the length of A. That means the, the wire B is 4 times longer. 4 times longer than wire A. Ah, okay, so that's the answer. Uh, for LB is for LA. That's correct. Yeah, for LA. That's correct. That's the answer. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so that's all for these questions. Okay, see you in the next video.